So for the first grade modified lesson, you're going to need the Google Slides that I sent in the email. If you can print them out, that would be helpful. If not, use them as a guide and you can um, have your child draw on their own using mine as a, as a guide or you can sketch out some things for them to trace. Um, I guess do what you can with what you have. Um, but I would start with this page and with a pencil I would have your child warm up by tracing each of the shapes and identifying them. So this is a good time to kind of figure out which shapes are um, shapes that we know, shapes that we still need to work on. And then last month we worked on one of two projects, either a landscape and we're going to put a cityscape over it today or a background for a still life and then that would be the third slide. So I labeled them. If the cityscape is the one that your child chose, um, then we're going to just work on this page and if you chose the, the um, still life you can kind of skip ahead to that part of the video. Um, but after the warm-up what you're going to do is you're going to take um, these pages and try to encourage your child to practice using the ruler and doing some ruler work. So line up the ruler to the dotted lines and then trace. If if this is too difficult, um, you can also, and, and I, I often do this, take cereal boxes and just, you know, cut out three or four rectangles and have your child trace that. It's a little bit easier because it's harder. But after you trace those, and it does not have to be perfect, then um, figure out if you want to use warm colors or cool colors. Now, it's important to use materials that are motivating um, for our students. So if, if your child's really like a marker person, like my son is, then awesome. My daughter is more of a paints person. So whatever you can use to, to um, keep this motivating, that would be great. But crayons are, you know, always going to work well. So um, that is always an option. Basically, all we're going to do is we're going to take our crayons in the warm colors or the cool colors. And if you remember from last week, warm is red, orange, and yellow cool is blue, green, and purple, and fill each of these, these buildings with lines in one of the three directions. Now let's keep it real simple, and I'm going to say just straight lines. So here I'm doing straight horizontal lines. So instead, if, if, if you want to encourage your child to do lines, that's great. Um, if they are you know more inclined to color, that's fine. Just make sure that we're coloring across if they are really just programmed to color up and down and turn the paper for them that's fine as well and just vary the colors in each one you can um, up the creativity and and combine colors you can combine types of lines but um, essentially I am really looking for and of course yellow is not going to probably show up on the video but I am looking for an understanding and practicing of diagonal lines, vertical lines, and um, horizontal lines. I do find that sometimes, especially for my son, um, diagonal lines are difficult. So you could, you know, get that ruler out again and just kind of help them color along that guide. You can turn the page. Or we can just stick with vertical and horizontal lines and you would do all of them and then you would cut it out okay and then I'm just gonna you would cut this out care have them cut it out carefully you can cut it out in one shape um, or multiple shapes and then just glue it somewhere into your background that we created last month okay so we're going to do something similar with the, the still life page. You're going to choose warmer cool colors. You can um, encourage your child to trace each of the shapes and basically just fill each of the shapes with lines in one of the three directions. So um, you can turn the page if you need to. 
you can limit colors if you need to you can pull out that ruler and have your child follow the ruler okay so here I have vertical lines up and down horizontal lines side to side and choose one of the two groups of colors and the two groups of colors were cool colors blue green and purple or warm colors red orange and yellow and what I would do if it was if I was with um, your student, I would just limit the colors that are in their field of view after they make that check that choice and then do the bowl as well. And when you are all finished, carefully have your child cut. A lot of times I'll just kind of outline where the cutting would go and um, have them cut on my outline and then glue into the background that we created last week. Take a picture and upload into Classroom. Um, you know, my main goals for this is um, just that we, that we are encouraging good craftsmanship and we are learning about the shapes and the directions of lines. So um, th those two goals are the goals for this assignment. If we have to get creative with our ideas, that's great. If we are limited in some of the things that we can do, that is okay as well. Reach out with any um, concerns or questions that you have, and I'm sure we can figure out something together.